Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we're back with some more LEGO The Incredibles. We've got level five house party free play. This one is going to take a little extra care and prepare. We're going to need crush hour. We're going to need a tracker, and we're also going to need a dig ability for this one to be completed. Now, we do have some quick links down below in the video description. Uh, we have uh, tracker and digger abilities creatable over at Edna Modes. But the old crush hour, you gotta buy the old silver blind bags to unlock him. We did him in another video a couple back. But uh, when you're all ready, you got them characters ready to roll out, go ahead and choose house party free play. And assuming you've got no mini kits, choose the first section, which is called house fight. Which characters you choose is kind of irrelevant as you will have access to all the ones you have unlocked thus far. And assuming you have completed the crime waves, the story, and the free roam, you should have pretty much everybody you need. All right, that being said, let's go ahead and take out a couple of baddies on the far right side of the room when things begin. We're going to smash the old coffee table, or I guess dining room table, down and rebuild it into a push lever. Right up above it, there is actually some bits that can be telekinetically manipulated. We're going to stack them up, and it's going to reveal a mini kit at the top of the light. Go ahead and fly up there and swoop it up. Now, I highly recommend Syndrome for that one, as you can climb up that ladder you created, but it's just easier to fly up. Now, in the kitchen, you're going to go past a burning mess there. And all the way in the back right corner of the living room, we're going to need a character with the electricity ability. Somebody like Electrix to go ahead and pump, 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 pump up this terminal in the back, which is going to activate a little mini game here. And it's actually a little homage to the Toy Story. Now, full disclosure, I completed this whole area once, and I missed a mini kit right at the end, so I had to replay it again. I was curious as to what happens if I slammed into a box, as I did not hit a box in my first run through, so I slammed into that one just to see what happens. As it turns out, you have three lives to make it to the back of the truck, and as you get past these boxes, you can see the truck is getting closer, and the mini kit is oh so big. We'll go ahead and get close enough, and it'll eventually go... Doo -doo -doo -doo. There we go! And it pukes out a mini kit. Blech. Thank you very much. Now, remember that fire in the kitchen? Let's go ahead and put that bad boy out. We're going to need somebody like Frozone to go ahead and put out the fire. Now, there is a hot plate there, but right next to the hot plate, there is a red button. Go ahead and step on that button and watch that mini kit drop from the ceiling. Thank you very much. And now we go into the, well, we got to go back to that push switch and push it all the way around to reveal another electric pod there. Well, of course, we're going to need to pump it up with somebody with them electric vibes. So, electrics it is again. Now, what we're doing here is this is actually part of the story element. And this is going to kind of uh, thwart Electrix is floating in the air there and uh, give us a couple of more items, including a silver disco ball. That's right. We're not going to get our jungle boogie on just quite yet. We're actually going to take the disco ball down and it's going to give us some buildable bricks that we can build into another mini kit. Now, over on the left-hand side, there is a psionic sphere point that is going to need the help of Violet and Dash. Once we get them both out and we get that pumped up, too, it's actually going to fill up. Uh, well, it's going to give us some water from that fountain there, and then we'll freeze the water to uh, take out, buddy. But first, hail, uh, or I should say hurl, some sort of a silver brick breaker bomb. Now, we used Bon Voyage to go ahead and toss something up there, but there's plenty of bad guys that have the silver brick breaking ability. Once you destroy that silver disco ball, you will get those bricks, and you can see we've already completed them and grabbed that mini kit. So, hey, uh, there is a minute or three in between now and the next collectible. So if you're in a hurry, feel free to use those quick links. Good timing there, Thumbie. And you can see here, we already talked about this, the psionic sphere and dash. Go ahead and charge that meter up, and it drops down all of the extra party stuff. And look at that. It's actually given us a little bit of water to work with, as promised. Now we're going to need Frozone to go ahead and freeze Buddy in place, which will allow us safe passage into the rest of the room. And you can see in the back left corner, oh, and on the back right, there are some Violet bricks. So Violet is not done helping out the crew just yet. We're going to need to go ahead and smash and grab all of those and do one of the, I guess they're called Master Builds. I don't know if they actually gave them a name for this, but that's essentially what it is. And uh, some baddies have been uh, thrown at us by Screech. I didn't know it was saved by the bell time. I mean, am I Zach Morris? Is that what's going on here? What, well, I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, anyways, uh, Kelly Kapowski uh, at your service. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to go ahead and we got all those violet bricks stored up. So now, I don't know about you guys, but I've had some trouble with this. Every time I get the master build completed, it just doesn't want to fill up that circle. And I'm, I promise you, I'm holding the circle button. 
Now you can see Screech is in the back and he is making loud noises, but we don't have the speakers to go with that microphone yet. So we're gonna go ahead and take Dash into this back right corner and use one of those hamster wheels to go ahead and reveal the speakers. It's kind of an unorthodox way of uh, getting your home theater live and in stereo, as they like to say. But uh, as it turns out, they're uh, rock speakers. Look at that, that's uh, pretty crazy. Every time you wanna listen to music, you gotta destroy your walls. Uh, but Screech, nonetheless, has been dealt with as he screeched into the microphone, and it was a little too much for his little eater drums. Now you can see Jack Jack's up top with Reflux, and that's only part of what's going on. That, that's actually the story element, not really related to any collectibles, but uh, we have some stuff we got to do before we can get to the next one. And it starts off with using the buildable bricks on the left-hand side to build up one of these uh, 3, 2, 1, dash... <laughs> markers here. Yeah, I suppose you could probably just fly up top too, although it does have a little story moment there where it drops the ducting down, so I'm not sure. Either way, whether you use dash or whether you fly up top, it's up to you. But once you are up top, this is where the important stuff kicks in. We actually have a couple of baddies here that we need to take out, but in the back left corner over here, there is a uh, Elastigirl spot. So we'll go ahead and take out the final bad guy and step right up, hit that icon as indicated, and stretch your way into, hey, wait a minute, it's Dash's room. He says, get out of here, stay away while I'm cleaning my womb. All right, well, we're out of there now, and uh, come on, Stretch Armstrong, get it, get it together here. I, I don't know why, too, every time I get in one of these long stretches, look, I'm stuck, I, I couldn't, couldn't unstretch. But as it turns out, this is where you need Crush Shower. You need that super destroy ability, which I'm not sure is available with any other characters. At least we haven't found one yet, but you can see there, I telekinetically, that's right, with my mind, I destroyed that, uh, that painting up on the wall. Hopefully it wasn't a Van Gogh. There is a handheld that you can go ahead and jump up and swoop that up. Look at that. We've got six mini kits in this first area. And oh, no. We got knocked down. Watch out for that last step. It's a doozy. And you know what? That's all good, though. We can go ahead and fly up and get our beep up beep up on by going ahead and activating this terminal with Syndrome, which is going to, that's right, Calgon, take us away. Here we are, we are in the second section here. This one's actually called Super Thus Escape. It's area two, and if you have gotten all the mini kits from the first area, uh, and maybe you make a mistake in this one, well, there is also a glitch that can happen, and we'll get to that in a minute, but the good news is, is if you got all the mini kits in the first area, and the glitch does happen, or you miss something, you can actually load right back into this spot right here, and you won't have to do all that beginning nonsense. But you can see we used a tracker like Russell to go ahead and follow that clue. That's right, I totally got a clue. Over on the far left-hand side, and it rewarded us with a mini kit. Next up, we need somebody with the grapple ability, so somebody like Elastigirl should do just fine over on the left-hand side, there's a tree with a grapple plug. Go ahead and spam, 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 spam. Rip that bad boy down and build him up into another mini kit. All right, so that's eight officially in the bag. Oh, no. There is a dig spot over on the front right side here, kind of towards your screen. And uh, we got a few characters. Oh, Wally can dig. I didn't realize that. I probably should have used Flick, as I don't think I've used him for anything yet. And I actually know and enjoy Flick from A Bug's Life. That was one of my favorite movies when Reese was a young tyke. But, uh, all right, so Wally is doing some damage here. Now, this is where it might get a little squirrely. There is a known bug or glitch that can happen here. Basically, what we got to do is there are three people that are mind-controlled. There's actually four, but there's only three that you can target and only three that you need. So get somebody with a projectile, somebody like Syndrome. Go ahead and target one of the two guys on the left. Once you tag him, he actually lifts off. See you later. And then over on the right, there are two more. Now, I'm not exactly sure which one of these two is likely to run away, but it is in my notes here that it is possible that one might fall off the screen. So I, I think it's Reflux over there. He kind of bounces around and then flies up in the air in a minute. I'm not sure if, if that's been fixed in a recent patch or not. And unfortunately, I can't shoot anything while flying. Notice I'm trying multiple times because I'm just having no luck on the ground. But uh, both of these guys on the right need to be targeted, and hopefully you can target them both. Look, Reflux is not, I, I can't get him right now, and I'm not sure what's going on. And then he runs off, and I'm like, oh no! But look, and he, now he's running, and he's jumping, and he's flying. And luckily for me, I actually am able to target him while he is in the air. And uh, I actually get it right here, I think. Yep, nope, nope, right, nope, right here. I get, I get my block knocked off one more time. Nope, there we go, come on, get it up, yes! <laughs> All right, so that is a little bit more difficult than it probably should be, and hopefully you don't run into any issues. I do believe Tyler P. had to replay this level because Reflux fell off, which is never a good thing. 
But uh, all right, now we just got the old boss to take out, and there are a couple of stages to this, as there are in every boss battle. We got to take out his bad guys and then uh, wait for him to attack us to a point where he sees stars. The old Tweety Birds, tweet, 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 tweet. And there he goes. He spins away. Oh, there. No, no. He's going to do the old sky drop. Ready? Kapow. And there he goes. So once he sees the star, sneak up behind him. Give him the old pow right in the kissa. That should take enough of his health off to crush out. Wait, wait a minute. We were just using you, dude. Now, if I'm being honest, I do believe in order to unlock the silver blind bag with Crush Hour in it, you need to complete this level in story. I, I think that's the only thing you need to do to get him. I, I, we were not able to confirm that, and so far I have not been able to find that information online anywhere, and I haven't had the time to like stop my game, start over, and like test it. I'm not sure I will either, just just full disclosure. <laughs> but, but uh, you know, if anybody knows anything out there, maybe wants to test it out for us to verify that, that would be great information to know to pass on to others. This game is probably one of the most simple LEGO games to date. However, there are a few things that make you scratch your head a little bit that can be a little difficult at times. So uh, we like to provide that information when possible. So if you guys know something we don't, please let us know. Now, hey, if you missed out already, the, the, the collectibles have already been collected. We're just finishing out the old boss battle, which is actually like another minute and a half, two minutes long, which is just ca -ca -ca crazy. And uh, eventually we'll get the KO and we get to move on to the final totals. And of course, we've sped this up and removed the cutscene, so it'll be a little bit faster than it might be for you guys. But nonetheless, it should be quick and easy. And okay, so uh, if you're confused on what to do here, basically you just got to let Crush Hour and uh, what is the name? The Brick. You got to let both of those guys tame up and slam these big rocks at you. Try to avoid them as best as possible, and then wait for them to car ramrod right into them and slam into them. And then uh, collect the Incredibricks. As you can see, we need three Incredibricks total. We'll do the family build once we have all three. Here comes the third rock with the third Incredibrick, and he'll come and get his smash on. Here we go. That was kind of a weak, weak horn, but... All right. Hey, uh, so what's up, guys? What What's on your agenda next? We're getting pretty close to the end of this game. Now, this is a weird glitch, too. You just saw I got the third brick. It told me bricks achieved. Uh, and then I go to stand on it, and it tells me I don't have enough. I only have two or three. And then I go right back on it, and I have three or three. I'm not sure what went on there, but we will go ahead and take it as it did finally accept it. I did notice too later in my gameplay, because I did play a couple of levels during this session here, uh, I found it hard to select certain characters at times. Like the characters were not grayed out, they were available to select, but I couldn't select them. Now sometimes it's a, a size issue where the character's too big for the area you're standing in, but, but that was not the case in most of these situations. So uh, definitely running into some weird kind of... Uh, Hurdles? I don't know if I'd say glitches or bugs because they're kind of working themselves out, but there's definitely a little bit of delay in some of it. But uh, look at this. Rock'em, sock'em robots. Go ahead and get the sequence all figured out and then spam that button until that meter is depleted. And K.O. 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 Ha ha ha! House Pate free play is officially complete. We got that story done, so we got that first gold brick and that blind bag. And the first one, we also had the true super because it wasn't very, it was only 35k. And then, of course, we got all 10 of those mini kits that are going to build up into, wait for it, wait for it. It's the Micro Incredible! You probably saw that on our thumbnail, but just in case you didn't, maybe it was still a surprise. But, uh, all right, 100% and 10 of 10, which means it's time for the story to continue. Hey, that's going to wrap it up for LEGO The Incredibles House Party Free Play. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I tried to give you the warning of the crush hour, the tracker, and the dig necessities up front. Uh, I know that somebody mentioned that I was not talking about those in previous ones. Not in, in a long step. But anyways, that's going to do it. As always, until next time. <laughs>